Hello there, random smart person on the internet. If you have clicked on this video, you must be just as excited as I am to view a sneak peek of the James Webb Space Telescope's first deep field image just a few hours ago. This is the image that NASA just released. It is the deepest and sharpest infrared image of the observable universe to date. This image is known as Webb's first deep field. Thousands of galaxies, including the faintest objects ever observed in the infrared, appeared in Webb's view for the first time. This slice of the vast universe is approximately the size of a grain of sand held out at arm's length by someone on the ground. I am 5 foot 9 inches. When I hold my arms straight out, it is 24 inches from my chest to my middle finger, or approximately 610 millimeters. This is the formula for the surface area of a sphere. So if we were to calculate the surface area of the sphere made by the radius of my arm, we get a surface area of 4.6 million square millimeters. I know. It's killing me not to use freedom units for this. The average diameter of a grain of sand is 0.5 millimeters. Taking the surface area of one face of the grain of sand and dividing it by the surface area of the sphere that is made by my arm, this gives us an amazing approximation. If this photo is the size of a grain of sand held at an arm's length, this means that this image is only 0.00000005 53565111% of the observable universe. That is just mind blowing. You are seeing galaxies whose light has been bent around other galaxies. While the main galaxy cluster in this picture is only 4.6 billion light years away, other objects in this photo are much, much further. The combined gravitational lensing of these galaxies magnified other galaxies behind them to the point where we could see them. Some of the faintest galaxies here emitted their light over 13 billion years ago. In this image, we are comparing James Webb's image to Hubble's image of the same exact area. As you can see, James Webb is much clearer and we are able to discern much more details. NASA is also set to release more images on July 12, 2020 at 1030 Eastern Daylight Time. We're expecting at least four additional images. First is the Carina Nebula one of the largest and brightest nebula in the night sky, located approximately 7,600 light years away. It is home to many massive stars. We will also view the spectrum of WASP-96b, a gas giant outside of our solar system, which is located about 1,150 light years away from Earth, and it's about half the size of Jupiter. It orbits its star every 3.4 days. One year is 3.4 days. We will also see the Southern Ring Nebula, an expanding cloud of gas surrounding a dying star. It is nearly half a light year in diameter and is located approximately 2,000 light years away from Earth. And finally, we will view Stefan's Quintet, which is about 290 million light years away. It is notable for being the first compact galaxy group ever discovered in 1877. 98 years ago, we thought we were the only galaxy in the universe. Now we know that there are over 200 billion billion galaxies in the observable universe. As Vice President Harris said, and now we enter a new phase of scientific discovery. Humankind can now look deeper into space than ever before and in stunning clarity. I am looking forward to this clarity. This telescope will be able to determine the composition of atmospheres from exoplanets unlike ever before. We may even be able to detect indirect evidence of life on another planet. That would be one of the most amazing things I can think of. Leave a comment down below on what you thought of the first images and how excited you are for future images. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Whatever you thought of the images, always remember, have fun with STEM.